In this video, you will know how to use cache grid or what's called cache method in choosing respondents in field surveys. Cache grid is a simple table composed of rows and columns. Rows are serial of household. Columns are eligible persons in the household. Assume that we are moving from house to house in our field survey. Let us start with the first house. We have to ask about the eligible persons in this house to be interviewed by our questionnaire. Assume that we have three household members are eligible to choose one of them to be enrolled in our study. At first, we have to sort them according age from younger to older. We are in the first row, the first household. We have three eligible persons, so we have to choose the first one. We have to move to the second house. Assume that we have five eligible persons. After sorting them according age, and referring to our cash grid. Now we are in the second house. We have five eligible persons, so we have to choose the second one. But how can you deal if you have more than eight? If you have more than eight members, we have to consider them as eight. So, if we are in the fourth house, we have to choose the fourth member. What about if we have more than 10? As you know, cash grid have 10 rows. We have to use the first number from the right side. 0, 1, 2, 3. I refer to cash grid. Is there any other uses of cash grid? The answer is yes. We may use cash grid in choosing floor number. Assume that you are moving in your field survey from building to building. If you are free to choose the floor, it's easy for you to choose first or second floor. But with cash grid, if you choose the floor according cash grid, it's easy to be randomized. If you are going to the third building and this building have seven floors, you have to choose third floor from the cash grid. Thank you very much for following this presentation. Please share and subscribe.